Hi everyone, my name is Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling since July of 2004. I sell mainly on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today I am continuing part two of my Goodwill haul. I had an amazing week last week. I went to Goodwill five different days and I found some really great items. And in part one, I shared the first four days, but the video was too long, so I had to split it. So today I will be sharing what I found on day five. Then after I complete this, I'm going to go through and have a series of other videos using some of the items that I got in this haul. I'm going to go through how I research and price the items, create drafts, photograph, edit, list. People have been asking me to show how I use lists perfectly, so I will show that in the listing process. I've also been asking me about listing on Macari and how I do shipping and how do you use FedEx. So I'll be including all that also. So I will have more videos. I'm hoping to have one out a day for the next few days to complete this process of this haul. So if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I release new videos. So now I will show you what I found on day five. Day five, this was another amazing day. I looked through dresses first, loft I pick up at the bins, but usually not at the regular Goodwill. Then I found Free People Beach, yay! That has done really well for me in the past. This is Zara Woman and it has amazing comps. I looked through this entire row of dresses, all of those, it probably took me 30 to 40 minutes. And I think I brought home four. Then I found this Pottery Barn Kids Very Hungry Caterpillar Sheet and Quilt Set, which is excellent. This is Lula Row. I've been having great luck on certain Lula Row pieces, but I definitely look up the specific style and pattern before I pick it. And then I went to Sleepwear. I love picking up fitted pajamas, but I'm going to wait and see if those go half off and then it would be worth it to pick those up. Then Vanity Fair. There are some Vanity Fair pieces that go for a lot of money, so I like to look those up. Those are velour and I think they're 60s or 70s, super cool. There were a lot of vintage nightgowns, and so I looked quite a few of them up, but I was really selective and only took three of them home. Sometimes furs can be worth a lot of money. I looked up comps though, and this one was not, so I passed on it. Then I went and looked through sweaters, and I often have to look through a lot of brands before I find one to pick up, and this one looked great. Eddie Bauer Legend, and it was patchwork, and then there were several other vintage sweaters that probably could do okay, but I was selective in that area. Also, I wanted to make sure there was a really high sell-through rate, and the condition seemed really good, so I only picked up one or two, I believe, in that area. And just as I couldn't imagine things getting any better, I'm walking to check out and see this Veronica beard top. What a great piece to end this haul on. I was really, really happy to find this brand for the very first time. This was my fifth day. I spent two hours and 32 minutes. I was like, I am just going to go really quickly. That never happens. If I have the time available, I will spend it. <laughs> so first thing I got, three pairs of Allen Edmonds shoes. And these are great sellers. I've had them completely beat up before, sell for $40. So I got three pairs and they look in pretty nice condition. A black pair, all of them are size 11 and they all were red tags, so they were half off. These two pair were marked $15, but they were $7.50 with the 50% off. So those two pairs, and then a third pair was marked $10, and they are also size 11, probably the same person. So this pair was only $5. So I put that each of these will sell between $40 to $50, which is really conservative. I know they will sell for more than that, even if they're really beat up. Then this pair of KDs, I knew KDs sold well because my son used to like these all the time when he was younger. I saw these and they were a little beat up, but I knew I should look them up anyway. They cost $7.99 and I put that they'll sell for at least $35 to $40. That was the lowest on these comps. Then the next one is a pair of Chinese laundry platform 
Oxford shoes, they're a patent leather look, and sometimes Chinese laundry can be worth not very much at all, and sometimes it can be worth quite a bit. These had a really high sell-through rate. They cost $8.19, they're women's, and they should sell for between $35 and $40. Then, the next one, I went to the hard goods and I can, and sometimes I find really good things in the hard goods. This was $1.79. It's a Cooligan faucet mount replacement cartridge. It's brand new, still sealed. And I found comps about $16. So I put that I would sell it between $14 and $16. Then this I thought was cool. This is brand new. It's still in the bag and everything. It was $2.49 and it's a wine cork trivet kit and you just put your wine corks in it. And I thought that would be a cool Christmas gift. So I picked that up and I think that will have no problem selling for, oh, I didn't even, do you know what? I didn't figure that in my totals. I don't even have this in there. So add $20 to whatever, to whatever that is. Cause I'm sure this would sell for at least $20. Then this is one of my best finds of the day. This is really cool. I'll have to put a picture of it on the ground. This is Pottery Barn Kids and Pottery Barn Kids linens can go for a lot. And it is Eric Carl, the Very Hungry Caterpillar quilt. And so this is the quilt. I found an exact comp for this, but smaller that went for $100. Mine is bigger. Mine is 70 by 38, so it's huge. So I will not take less than $100 for this. And, and it is in excellent condition. And then along with it is a very hungry caterpillar sheet. And it is Pottery Barn Kids also in perfect condition. And this one might only go for $15, but I paid $11.99 for the set. And this quilt is definitely excellent money. And then, so the linens is a great place. I have had some excellent finds that had a huge return and a lot of times they'll sell quickly too. This blanket, I looked it up because it was just so soft and it is called Tiddly Winks. It was $4.69 and it has a very, I was so surprised at how high some of these sell for. And I found a comp for one just like this that sold for, $40. So, so there's something definitely special about these. And so I paid $4.69 and I put that I would just be able to sell it for between $25 and $30, which is again, pretty conservative. Then I always like looking in sleepwear and look at these. These are like so 70s. They are a velour and they are Vanity Fair and some Vanity Fair can go for so much money. And there is the Vanity Fair tag made in the USA. So I got not just one, but two. Look at the front of this. This reminds me of pictures that I saw of my mom and these might even be 60s. I'm gonna have to send a picture to my mom and ask her what she thinks. So these are just really cool and some of them sold for a lot higher. That I paid $4.69 each. I value them at just 30 to 35, but I'll list them higher. I'll probably list them for about $50 and see what happens, but just conservative estimate, 30 to 35. And then along those same lines is another velour vintage house coat, robe, whatever you call it. It is a Donna and the comps were great on it, anywhere between 28 and $60. And I paid 469, but I just valued it between 30 to 35, I know I can sell it for that much. And I found Sundance, I've heard people talk of Sundance, but I've never actually found it. It's this yellow thermal, I was so surprised when I looked up the comps, they were really good. I think it will sell between 30 and $35. I paid $6.19 and a new rack came out and I was videoing it and I meant to grab it and I didn't grab it. And then I was going through the shirts later and it was there and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky someone else didn't get that. Then, I found LuLaRoe at the bins one time a couple months ago and I thought, I'll just try it. Well, since then I've picked up several LuLaRoe and it goes really well. And this one in particular, it's a really long cardigan um, with pockets. It is called the Sarah cardigan. And some people are asking so much money for this. There are some really good sold comps, but I only valued it between 
30 and $35. I'm going to list it a little bit higher. Some LuLaRoe I know can go for a lot, um, so but I will be thrilled if I get 30 to $35 on something that costs $4.69. I was walking by and I was trying to leave and kept on finding things, and this was one thing that just kind of stood out to me because it has ruffles and embroidery, and I had not heard of the brand Coco and Carmen, but the comps looked great, so I decided to pick it up and learn a new brand. It costs $5.69, and I think I can get at least $25 to $30. Then I got this Eddie Bauer patchwork. I love patchwork. It's wool. Eddie Bauer is a great brand, and it is Eddie Bauer Legend. It has great comps. I paid $6.19, and I think I can get $35 to $40. Then, this was so pretty. I couldn't find a lot on it, but it is so incredibly soft. It has this Sherpa, and this is the brand Amadi, and then it has $58 on it, Mirabelle Top, and so I couldn't find a lot on it, but I thought I am willing to pay $6.19 and it looks like it might fit me. So if it didn't sell, I would be happy to keep it. But I put that I would be able to sell it for $20 to $25. Then this is cool. This is Zara Woman. I love selling Zara. I looked at comps. I just, I was standing there. I just turned it, left it on a hanger, took photos of it using Google Lens. And there are some amazing comps on it, like $75, $85 really, really high comps. I paid $8.59. And although I found a lot of really high comps, I still just valued it at $40 to $45 because I wanted to be conservative. Then, but hopefully I'll get more than that. <laughs> then this dress is so pretty. It's brand new with tags. I looked up the brand because I had not heard of it. It's Sophie Cameron Davies and it costs, it was half price. It, so it was only $4.30 and it has a really high retail value, but I couldn't find a lot on it. So I thought, you know what, for $4.30, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I'll try it and it's my size. And if it doesn't sell, I would love to have that in the spring. So I decided to grab that one either for me or to resell. And then I hardly ever find Free People and I found Free People Beach, which I love Free People Beach and it's a size extra small, and it's this beautiful white eyelet. It looks like it's one shoulder, and so wouldn't that be so pretty to wear on the beach for photos? So if I can find the stock photos, that would be really good to see what it looks like on. It cost $4.30, it was half off, and I know I can get at least 30 to $35 for it. And then I got this Uncle Frank dress. I've had success with Uncle Frank. This is embroidered. It was $8.50, 59 cents. And here is the tag, Uncle Frank. And, and I put that I should be able to get at least 30 to $35. It might not sell until the spring, but that's okay. And the last thing, I found this Veronica Beard shirt, which I'm selling. I just thought I'd work for the video because I was so excited about finding it. I was walking to the register to check out and it was at the very end and I walked by and I saw it said Veronica Beard. I've never found it in my life. I only knew about it because I've heard other resellers talk about it. So I was so excited. I grabbed it. I didn't look up comps or anything because I knew it was good. I got home and looked up comps. I found one that had sold on eBay for $119.99 plus $3.95 shipping. I found other comps on Poshmark where I think it was like 75 to $85. I put that I should be able to get at least 60 to $65. I'm sure I can sell it for at least that much. And it only costs $5.99. So that is my haul for today. I was so happy with it. It took me two hours and 32 minutes to shop. I, on the low end, I should be able to sell all of these things for $764. On the high end, $866. So I am so happy <laughs> with today's haul. And to sum everything up, I said it at the beginning, but I'll go ahead and recap it once again. 64 items, it took me seven hours and 14 minutes to shop. 
When I add it all together, I should be able to sell these things for somewhere between $2,309 and $2,738 after taking out fees and accounting for if I send offers to likers, if I pay 20% fees and send a discount of $4.99 shipping on Poshmark, the least I should get back is $1,690.20. If I sell it on eBay and I pay about 12% fees, then the high amount is $2,409.44. So kind of in the middle there is $2,000. I am very confident that this will sell for at least $2,000. My cost of goods was $504.78 which will leave me a profit of $1,495.22, which I think is amazing. So far, it's taken me seven hours and 14 minutes of, of work. I kind of estimated, I'm going to time everything and let you know at the end exactly how much time it takes. But if I'm just estimating right now, if I say each item takes me 10 minutes to photograph and list and ship. That means that's going to take me 10.66 more hours to finish all of this. If you add in the time that I shopped, that means approximately 18 hours of work for all of these items. When I divide that by a profit of $1,495.22, that is working at $83.06 an hour. I think that's excellent to be able to do that from home. I love this. This job is so much fun. Like I really absolutely love this job. It's so exciting. And so I am so happy with those numbers. So now I will go through, prep everything, photograph, list, do all of that. I will take you along with me on the process. I'll have several other videos after this. And then when these items sell, they will be in my what sold video. So you can follow along and see how much they actually sold for. So that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed and would like to join me again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.